In this section, we're going to review linear equations or equations of lines. This is very, very important. You have to know how to come up with the equations given certain information, how to convert between equations, how to graph them, and how to identify key features. You're going to need it for different parts of this course. So when you have a linear relation, that could be represented by a linear equation. Remember, these are just equations that have degree of 1, meaning that the independent variable, usually called x, has an exponent of 1. So there are three different forms of linear equations that you have to be familiar with. The first one is called the slope y-intercept form. And as the name suggests, this equation gives us the quickest way to find out what our slope and what our y-intercepts are. So this equation looks like this, y equals mx plus b. Some teachers might have called it y equals ax plus b, so these mean the exact same thing. Now be very careful. In this equation, x and y, these are variables, so they're going to stay as x and y. But the m and the b, these are numbers. So this m is a number, and this b is also a number. The number in the m spot represents the slope. It tells you how steep the line is. If m is positive, we have a positive slope, meaning that your line is going to look like this. If m is negative, that means you're going to have a negative slope. Your line's going to look like this. b is the y-intercept. y-intercept is where the line crosses over the y-axis, is where it meets the y-axis. Now, you have another form called the standard form. It's standard form because you have all your x's, then your y's, and then your constants all on one side of the equation, and the other side equals zero. Not the most useful when it comes to graphing, but sometimes we'll be asked to convert between the forms. Third, we have something called the point-slope form. So, as the name suggests, it will give you information about one point on the line and the slope of the line. So, this is how this looks like. It's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. In this equation, y and x are the variables, they stay as letters, whereas y1, m, and x1, these are numbers. Just like with your slope y-intercept form, m is the slope, it tells you how steep the line is, and x1, y1 as a pair represents any point on the line. So as long as I have a point on the line, for example, maybe negative 1, 4 is on the line, then I can use that to come up with the point slope form equation. Just a quick reminder on how to calculate slope because we might have to do that. Slope, again, shows you how steep the line is. And very commonly, it will be referred to as rise over run. So if you hear slope, you're thinking rise over run. Another way of thinking of this is that it's the change in y over the change in x. So if you're given a graph and you have two points, you're going to take one of the points and you're going to figure out how do I have to change the y to get to the second point, divided by how do I have to change the x to get to the second point. So basically what we're doing is we are calculating y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, which we'll see some examples of later on. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.